For somebody who has a later start for guitar, it's for me important to know, can we actually play better or is it just um, taking some courses? Of course you will get better. This thing is so important, I feel the same. Because I, it's by age and stuff, I want to know because I'm sure other people have the same question. Like I started in my 30s. So I want to know if there is a chance for me. Am I going somewhere or not? Am I going somewhere? Yes. Of course you are going somewhere. How do you get a verification of this? How you can prove it? By checking, I guess, by the videos and uh, by the performance. By, by performance, but by you recording yourself. That's right. You, you have to see your progress every month. Every month, which at least in our study program we do twice a month, the students record something and send it to me, and then they know. Last year, in, in March, I was playing this way. Now look what I am doing, and it's amazing. Then you see that actually, yes, you are playing. We can play better, provided we can all get better playing for sure. I, I can guarantee you that. But you have provided we know. We have the proper guidelines, mm -hmm. and also we know very well what is the difference between practice and playing, and okay. apply these concepts. If we don't know the definition of practicing, and what, what, not what to practice, but how I will practice, and mm -hmm. how I improve, and then verify that I am improving by recording the homework there, then of course you don't do one thing right. You keep just, if you keep watching videos only, you are not learning this way. Do it yourself and be confused forever. People will say 20 million different opinions and you get nowhere. You have to get one solid proof that you can get better. Am I actually going to play one, one day well? Well, of course, but you have to understand the definition of practicing. What is practice? Practice is what, what upgrades your playing. Playing is not practice. If I go there and think I am practicing and I just keep playing songs, that is not going to break your plane. Then of course that like that you will never get better. Mm. So sometimes it's true. For those who have a, a teacher, the, and the progress is, is guaranteed there. You can see it in yourself. Even students who, who have not been in contact with people who probably stopped practicing or they they had twins or marry or move in the business change country, do different things. Happens sometimes in the store. I have 90, 90 now. Many people are there in other places and they, they, they have sometimes problems or a stop that they need to adjust or they marry or something happens. Mm -hmm. right. And then they stop playing, say, six months and then they come back to the to the board. So you see, Rick and said, Don't call me any, every six months, okay. man. Call, call me often. Okay. And what happened? He, I think, last lesson he took maybe was one year ago. Wow. And then how he was there, enlightened, <laughs> playing well like anything, doing many things. Why? Because actually what, what he attained there by proper practice, he never loses it. it Maybe dusted there out, but yeah, once you remember, yeah, I can play it. You can, in this process, you, you go on to a certain point. And then if you stop there, 
Later on, you can continue, and what you got already is a permanent as asset there. It's a permanent asset. You never lose that if you learn it right. That's right. If you learn it right, you could always access it. And then, therefore, later on, then actually, it's like it's like if he was yesterday here, because I see in the strings. <laughs> They have very old the strings in this. They open the case here in the course and oh my god. Well, I haven't been playing lately much, like taking the spider webs out. <laughs> this, kind of, this kind of thing, you know. Those guys, then I am uh, happy that you have the courage to ask it. Because this question, am I really going to play well one day? I am I am sure everyone has this in the mind. But but so very few people will say it will come and ask me really directly this thing, very few. Because they are shy or, you know, it's an uncomfortable question a bit. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I am learning guitar, I go to the teacher and say, am I really getting better? Like, you have to feel it, you also, how you feel playing. Mm -hmm. And if you were also some months without playing and, and, and suddenly came and it happened that you play many things right in the course, then you say, you say yeah, bro. I, I'm, I rock here, it's good. I, re I really feel that I can play. Then some other areas come thereafter, and then now we lose the chord or miss the tempo, etc. We lose the one, whatever happens there. But uh, the thing is that you focus on, on, on what you can do and what you did before, how that can be, take the dust out and then use it. Yeah, and, then, and then of course you advance, because in this program there is no way to not advance. If you record your homeworks in unlisted videos mm -hmm. and, and then have that, that this is a scales. You know the scales? Okay, last month I was playing at this speed, here it is. Then you know very easily when you get the stock and that. It's very objective. In technique, most of all, we have, for example, if I will practice grass game. Suppose I record this one in the top then now I have the recording, so next month, if three, three years after I am still same speed, then something is happening here, hello, we have a Houston problem, we need to solve it. Therefore, that's why the coaching program there is in the sky very specific, and you need to practice how much time? 20 minutes a day. People lose, no excuses. <laughs> people lose time like anything with, with the gadget, this, the TV, who knows, the telephone messages. I was saying you practice 20 minutes properly and this will work so much that you will notice it actually. Mm -hmm. I cannot say if you are advancing, I can say it, but the best is that you notice it yourself. Mm -hmm. Because then, then you will see that now I really flow. That's why they keep coming all the time. Sure. You see, this, this workshop, I, actually I make it a double workshop for rhythm and harmony. I did it because there was too many people, and then I said, let's see if I do a double course, and what happens? Yeah, they came in, they, again, <laughs> again, they were packed, anyway. <laughs> why? Because they actually, they can test there, yeah. and this is why also we do these groups, because they can test there that yes, I can actually play, some stuff I can do it, yeah. and I will improve, what I am with, on, I will improve that also. And then get better and better every time. And this is the joy of music. Of course, you will improve. But we need, for that. <laughs> we need to know the definition of practice That's and right. become serious, not that we are sad or something. Just take your 20 minutes, grab your guitar, put the metronome, do the nice things, and then every week or every other, every other week, you record your techniques and your thing, your list of videos, and send it to me. And then in the sky, we will talk about it about how your posture is going, how you are improving, then you will see, yeah, I am improving, absolutely. Mm -hmm. If the student can say it, can say it and, and, and it's really true, because that's another problem, we can say, you know that the, the, the crazy fellows in the madhouse, they say, I am Napoleon, right? <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte. <laughs> Do you think they are lying to you? No, they believe it. They say, if it is really crazy, the guy is really crazy, he says, I am Napoleon, and they believe it. This is called schizophrenia, that's what this is, this is a disease. So some people think I play great, but and, and they don't. Right. 
That verifying by somebody else, a teacher perhaps would tell that. <laughs> Because objectively, what what Paco said to to Fabio to the dancer, please put the metronome. On. You practice with metronome because this, some things are inaccurate when I have to mix this album of concerts in Spain. Whatever he said it there in, in the documentary, Fabio says right. this is an advice useful for life. So maybe he was thinking I am okay. But Paco came and said, answer, so from yeah. Yeah, the best answer of Spain, for sure. But Paco came there and said, man, this is uh, still we are failing here. Please use the metronome to practice. And then he did. And then Paco congratulated him and, and said, congratulations. And you named it really. It's very noticeable. So he also felt it, of course. But mm -hmm. you need a teacher. This is first of all. The, the people without a teacher doing themselves the things, watching videos only and thinking they are By watching a video, even if it is the best video you can watch, you learn 5% of the thing. You don't do the really the experience. Just like people will see the workshop video, and then they get something out of it. I see people that came and just watch the things and they learn some stuff. But of course, it's a small amount of oh, it's 5% of the knowledge. And then, unless you are here, yeah. when you are here really swimming, The magic But, happens when you're actually part of the group and you hear and experience that. That's right. That's why these workshops are important also. Because you become also strong alone now. Now people go back home and will, I am sure they will, they will succeed. They will play better, for sure. Yeah. And then they, and next year you notice it. Why? Because they got enthusiasm by helping others actually. Mm -hmm. This teaching thing, the value of it is that my duty is to make you play better. I make sure that you will advance. You just follow, follow the, the path and follow the method accurately. In 20 minutes a day, we don't need more. And if we do it, we will go up like anything. I am also a student. Paco is the teacher. I am a messenger here. Only. I'm also a student. Advance if you want, or black belt, or whatever. But I am also a student. I also study. I told you, I can teach only eight hours a day. I don't want to. I, have to, I need two hours for me. Because I cannot keep telling people practice and that, and I don't do it. But who is the teacher? This is Paco, the founder of all these things. Who brought improvisation to flamenco and these rhythmical accuracies and all these extended harmonic concepts? It's Paco who did it. So I am a messenger only, because I understood how he thinks. That's the way. So he said, this is black. I said, this is black. And then there is the, this powerful, this is a powerful message, because I'm not changing mm -hmm. stuff whimsically. So then there is powerful, and of course get people get better. Everyone can improve. There is talent factor that counts very small percent, wow. because, because really is the love you put on the passion to learn the stuff, and if you like it, mm -hmm. to conclude we will say that Can I am actually going to get better one day? The answer is only if you really like guitar. If you like guitar and if you like your playing. I personally felt by, uh, by showing up for a workshop that that passion kind of get ignited again. Of course. So I, I, would, I would personally suggest it for whoever is interested. Then you know it. I don't have to convince you because you, you already experienced it. I did personally. The problem is that the people who don't have a teacher, this is most of, of, of all these people who don't have a teacher or who don't follow a method, they teach themselves, they watch this, 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 and they go tired. anywhere. Then tired. at some point they say, but you know what, I am not improving, I guess I am a, a, a hopeless case. Not for me. No, <laughs> we, have to, 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 we have to assure, and for me especially, I see most of the people that think do, uh, does not have, do, are not very rhythmical. It's not true. I know who is someone without rhythm. You can tell and you are not one. It's very rare people who is really are rhythmic. And that. But everyone is afraid to count the things. But first, then they get good, but also afraid of chords. People are afraid of chords. It's afraid of therapy. That really made it easy for me, though. This happens because you have to apply to apply to practice the theory. Because again, and this I learned thanks to Bill McBurney, in theory, there is no difference between practice and theory. Mm -hmm. But in practice there is. Mm. Because when we need to do something, there will be a, a, a gap, a mismatch there, which has to be eliminated. 
And th that is done by following the proper method with, under the proper guideline. That's right. And, then, then, and you also, you see, because you record yourself, you have to see if you improve. There is no cheating thing there. We are not saying we are not only on that. And also, don't believe you play bad. This is also another thing. Some people mm -hmm. think, I am great. And others think I am too bad. That's also wrong. We have to become objective. Therefore, following success is guaranteed. Thank you, Ali. Thank you, Master. Looking forward to the Thank next you. workshop. And next you are always time. in my heart. You are a very sincere person. Thank you. And you can always count on me for everything. I will. Thank you. Thank you. La improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo. Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.